application so i will highly with you to show the different steps i will take care here to build a hybrid app for android and ios app for both platforms um, from the ionic project so here i will first will go with npm install my already files are here so i'll first go with the npm i npm i let it install my all my project is already co-loaned and uh, i have created one tag for this person so um, i will just open this uh, project so if you see my project structure you will find like uh, this is a common in uh, when you create a ionic project this will be common node modules this because npm is running so node module is created resources src git ignore file is here uh, angular json file uh, build json in in my last video i said like uh, i have created um, a sample ionic app which was not having any config dot xml file for adding the platforms and all so in this project i have uh, given here the config xml uh, google service json because google uh, few google services are being used here uh, this is package uh, uh, log json file and uh, this is package json this is pa uh, this is custom uh, ss file shell script file to pack the android and uh, to build the Android uh, version for me, this is one sentry I am using for issue tracking. For production issue tracking, if something happens in production version of the app, then I should have a track of it that this is happening with my app and some crash or something back in the API um, misfunction, something like that. So I have one sentry here. So if you go in SRC, I followed the same structure like app, uh, assets, environment and uh, the themes if you see my ts config again you will see here the last time i shown you for the path resolvers path resolvers you will find here as path resolver so now going in app you will see my all uh, the things are categorized like classes you can name it as a model and something i have used as class uh, components custom components are there uh, custom directives are there. NM I have used for um, to show the different types of uh, loading and uh, to show the ads in the app and uh, loading the uh, images and uh, for sizes of the images. So the different uh, for country detection <coughs> from the uh, either from uh, location service or either from IP. Uh, these are different NMs uh, listed here. I have guards interface and uh, the pages whatever pages are there and this a few pipes i have used and uh, these are a lot of services here you can see a lot of services are there which are uh, maintaining their stores so this is my basic uh, project setup one uh, for one of my app so here you can see now the uh, installation has been completed my mbn install is completed it uh, compiled the whole thing after uh, when I run npm i it uh, subscribe to files and all and uh, finally it completed my install getting like uh, fun 52 vulnerabilities and four low 43 moderate five high i will try to update this uh, these packages if these are vulnerable will in next uh, next release first let me finish with this release so my environment uh, npm environment is ready now so i have to add platforms either android or ios to have a native view so i have found uh, previous written script sfb prod which will uh, add the platform and uh, the dependencies whatever needed for the build so after npm install i will just run my script s fp prod dot ss this is switch facebook facebook to prod production because uh, my my development environment is using some different app id and the production is using some different app id so i run the, when i run this script this is a you can write your own script like that uh, how you are going to 
manage the things. So I just run here uh, the SF rod and it will add platform for me. Uh, you will see here it started. Uh, uh, first uh, first step is to remove the platform. Next is to add the platform. So it's run first command uh, Cordova platform remove if it exists. Uh, remove from the packet or JSON file and uh, retry to add it. So you can see here it tries to remove uh, my Facebook uh, plugin uh, for Facebook for plugin uh, because this uh, plugin is too old. I have switched to uh, uh, Facebook Connect. So it started uh, installing the packages and platform using Cordova fetch uh, for Android uh, iOS version 5.0.0. So it will install shortly. Here one of uh, most important point to notice like a uh, few, few plugins uses pod, pod install which sometimes cause uh, unwanted issues uh, like uh, version mismatch and all sometimes it do not install but I, I am maintaining this system as a proper build system so that's uh, it's installed the uh, branch and branch plugin properly. So now you see like uh, Google map is installed here and uh, this taken a bit long time to get installed uh, so my all dependencies are installed now uh, till uh, it's running pod install via uh, the final dependence plugin dependency is firebase 6 which is installing and it will complete shortly uh, this will not take more time yeah, so this is installed now. Installing uh, Cordova plugins, your location. Uh, this uh, app is having uh, um, around uh, 15, uh, 15 plugins, 15 to 16 plugins. So those are all installed now. My Cordova RES uh, generated uh, resource resource file for uh, the iOS. Uh, now it's uh, time to add uh, the Android. Android. So uh, it's facing using uh, Cordova Android 8.0.0 so it will take a bit more time let me show you something like what's there in this set part so this is uh, what actually this is doing this is first uh, removing the uh, removing the uh, platform iOS and Android now then it's removing the Facebook again it's adding both the platforms and later it will add this and uh, Facebook connect and after that it will remove the sentry Cordova which is I uh, which I am using for tracking uh, production block tracking and then it will re-add with uh, without ionic flag in beginning so this is uh, basically what uh, my uh, SFB prod is there yeah so Android uh, actually not taken more time it's uh, Installed all the dependency in very less time. You can see here it uh, installed very shortly. So uh, my all things are uh, okay now. So my Facebook is installing. Facebook plugin is installing. Yeah. So once it's installed the Facebook, I am ready to do the build. So actually last time I was having uh, installed with having the issue with uh, Facebook. Facebook Connect. So I. I will fix this. It was saying like uh, Cordova Facebook Connect already installed for Android, and but uh, it was not installed installed actually. So now you can see uh, this Facebook Connect is also being installed by the pod. So now it's installed successfully without any error. So first of all, what I will do, I'll just send a unique for Dova build Android hyphen hyphen I am giving uh, this hyphen hyphen option for specific reason first is I am building for production I am going for release release 
and I want source map also. So in the source map like JS map and all for tracking for sentry. So I will pass one more parameter here. Source map. So I will start it because I have added all the things. Uh, so when the build started with prod, so the environment will be checked in as uh, this production URL, this production environment. I have three environment setups, uh, prod, staging, and dev environment. So I am now I am, I am going through this dev and the staging all, all looks good. So I am building for production now. So once this application will build next step will come here for uh, designing the uh, build app and all and after that app cleaning and uh, the final step is to upload the apk file to uh, uh, play store and uh, wait for the its verification once it verifies and uh, you are ready to go for full rollout i will show them uh, once it completes the build, I will show how you can upload this uh, APK and all. So this will be in between build and deployment uh, tutorial. So you see here, like my build is uh, completed. Uh, I was about to complete this uh, study night, but uh, some some power uh, fluctuation is happened and uh, event offline. So this is how this build completed with uh, some warning or error but this doesn't matter so my build folder is uh, here uh, app release unsigned apk so i will now sign in this apk So now I'm going to run my uh, pack and word uh, script, which will generate APK for me. So uh, it will ask for uh, my key store password. Uh, so I entered here. And uh, now if you see, it's uh, signing the files uh, in the app and now it uh, It's completed the signing now. It's running the app verification and it given this much of warnings, but uh, verification is successful. So, what I am using in app sign app signing here, I'm using the jar signer and this is Zeppelin for cleaning the app, and this is app verifier. So, the very it verifies the app, and one of the APK is uh, APK is uh, generated here. Now I will try to install on my device. So I will first list down my device if it's if it's connected. ADB devices. ADB is uh, given. Uh, you can get this uh, command from your Android uh, Android D. Uh, so now I will perform the install. ADB install install minus r minus r i am using if the previous version is already installed there then it, it will override one simple pk so it's performing a streamed install and once it will install it will print the message success so this is uh, um, my release build so i will first test this out and i will show how i am going to publish this app on app store play store and uh, now I am in and chosen the uh, ID. So there are few warning messages, something a lot, uh, tax changes for Google Play service, important tax changes. These are not relevant to mine, but I hear the few changes to Google Play developer policy. You see, uh, like here, yeah, mm, uh, there are two, three sections production, testing, uh, testing. Uh, something so first i will create an internal testing internal testing of that uh, current build whatever i built i have done the build so uh, discard this release yesterday i was trying this to create one so i discarded it now i'm creating one release for now 
so if you see here like uh, app integrity you have to upload the app bundle so i to select here the app my apk is here so it will upload shortly and will uh, appear so this and all if this app if this app is already signed so this app is uploaded one apk uploaded so if you see here uh, it's uh, showing something layout target version uh, api level my minimum api level support is uh, 22 plus and target is 29 so i think this will work till uh, uh, android 10 and here is all uh, the things require 27 permission localization is and uh, these are the required permissions i am getting from uh, the so i will just uh, enter one uh, note here uh, adding load uh, uploading feature for this and Yes, this is minor box fixes. Minor box fixes I am adding here, like uh, I have fixed few uh, bugs and uh, I have uh, aligned the code somewhere, so those will come under minor box fixes. So my app is ready now. I have saved this uh, these things. So review release. I will review the release and uh, error warning. It's showing four warnings. Like what are the warnings? I will see if it's going to affect from August 2021 new APK on target 11 API level 10. So from uh, from August, I I have to upgrade the API level which you seen there in bundle this api level is 22 so i need to upgrade this and now i am going to roll out for internal testing so what whoever the member will be there for internal testing those will get notification that new app is available available here uh, so once this rollout happens so i have already tested and uh, the in team has tested this app so what i will do I will uh, create a production release for this and uh, this is released as port and production. The class report, I will check the class report is uh, zero. Class data not available here. So for production release is the same. So uh, I have already uploaded the app. So I will select from the gallery. A bundle gallery it will appear here like this apk i have to roll out so i will add this and uh, also for this uh, i will copy from the existing previous uh, messages internal testing i have uh, i'm copying the note and just i will save here so the apk is ready to review and roll out this is a few simple steps you want to see this uh, how to set up uh, the primary uh, primary thing i will discuss this uh, in some other videos so i am rolling out for 1900 user for now because this version the previous version is installed on those those mass of users already rolled out so this will in it will reviewed by the google play store team and uh, it will take around one or two hour to make it live and once it is approved then the app will be on play store live thanks for watching i will share the details in next video for the ios publish thank you please subscribe my channel and like the video share with friends